Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you guys came over today to see this grocery haul, meal plan, all the things, right? So it is actually Memorial Day here and it's about, I think it's like one o'clock in the afternoon. We're actually gonna grill out. We're just staying home, nobody's coming over or anything like that, but we need to run to the store to get stuff to grill out. And I made a like little meal plan. Well, a two week meal plan. And I'm gonna do a pantry challenge and try to eat down everything because I feel like I have a lot of things that I was like stocking up on. And for some reason, I'm gonna try to eat down all my things. So we're gonna go to a store called Little and it's L-I-D-L. And it's kind of like an Aldi basically. And then we're gonna come back and grill out and all the things. So uh, come along, not sure how this will all pan out, but I will show you guys what I can and show you um, what we got. So I went through my freezers. I have, if you guys don't know, my house is so messy right now, but that's okay. I have um, two freezers down here. I actually use this one as a refrigerator and because there's four doors. So I only use this one as a freezer and then I have a French door uh, refrigerator out in my garage and so one side of it is a freezer so I kind of like looked through this one looked through the one in my garage and came up with this meal plan so I'm gonna do some pretty easy kind of meals for the next two weeks I just wanted to eat down what I already had this is a pioneer recipe the noodle bake of course spaghetti because it's so easy I have um, one pound of turkey so we're gonna do tacos one night we usually do tacos actually um, like every week, like Taco Tuesday, but didn't have it. We have some orange chicken from Trader Joe's with fried rice, so we'll probably do that for an easy thing. Uh, I noticed that I had two things of bacon and I had some frozen hash browns, so we'll probably do breakfast one night for dinner. I have this random pack of drumsticks. No idea. It's like a Costco drumstick. And... And I'm gonna do that with potatoes, I think. And I think I'm gonna like bake them and put some barbecue sauce on them, something like that. Um, these potatoes that I wanna use are from Trader Joe's and I had two of those, haven't used them yet. I had a whole pack of pork chops. So I'll link that video here because that is such an easy, good, yummy dinner. I had some tortellini from Costco that I wanted to use. Um, I bought the stuff to make clam chowder, uh, from She's in Her Apron. Haven't made it yet. Gonna make it. And I'll probably make some homemade bread with that. Uh, we make this really good chicken noodle soup. I'll show you. I'll actually link the video. The video isn't very good, y'all. Just so you heads up on that. It's kind of, uh, one of my first ones I did. But it's such a good recipe. Oh my gosh. Um, I have stuff for chimichangas. I have a recipe for this too. And... Um, the thing that's a little bit expensive about this is the salsa I like to use is about $4 a jar, which I think is kind of expensive. So that's why, um, I wasn't going to make them. And then I noticed that I had a jar. I bought some really like jumbo shells and I don't know if I've ever made stuffed shells, but I have ricotta cheese and Parmesan. So I think I'm going to try to, to make that. I found that I had this stir fry kind of teriyaki. It's like a frozen and I thought maybe I would add some chicken to it, and that would be a good, easy meal one day. Trying to eat up all that stuff in the freezer. And then for Memorial Day, we're going to do, like, some hamburgers, hot dogs, some cheese fries. It's just frozen french fries with um, cheese on them. Uh, I have asparagus to grill out, and um, we'll probably do some watermelon. So my list over here is not very long, so that's really good. So I have a hair appointment next week. Can anybody else wait to get their hair done? Because, oh, my bangs are not loving me right now. But let's go to the store.
went back from the store and this is all I got. Okay guys, so I'm back from the store and we spent $121. Uh, to be fair though, I got a ton of stuff that wasn't on the list, but it was just kind of like odds and ends. It wasn't anything crazy. So we'll go through, show you what I got in my messy kitchen here. And the only thing I didn't get that was food related was this craft book and it was $3.99. It's like a Christmas craft book. Two things of eggs. Uh, we need some cereal. We we're all out. So got just mini weeds, frosted flakes, and Cheerios. This is all the bread things that we got. I just got one thing of bread. Um, I did have some in the freezer, but I just grabbed one. These are for the hamburgers tonight, which is what we got here to grill out. Two things of hot dog buns, and that's because the hot dog pack that I got had 16 in them, which was good because then this could actually go for two meals. So I'll just throw one of these in the freezer. I was out of some butter flavored cooking spray. I always keep both on hand, the olive oil and the butter. These are so good. I don't know. There was only one package of them, but last time I got them, I loved them. That's really why I wanted to go back to the store, this particular store. Um, but they're always sold out, so, but because they're good. But they're like little um, wontons. They're like mini ones. But you can just heat them up. They're so easy for lunch. Oh my gosh. Uh, some restaurant chips and some little honey twists. I got some like black bean hummus and so I thought that'd be good with this. And I actually got some pico de gallo. So that's why we got these. I love going to like these discount shops because chips and stuff are so cheap there. So these were like 89 cents. So we did get these, they were like $1.79, they're these, um, what, like an Otter Pop type of thing, and basically we'll put them out in our garage freezer for the neighborhood kids, I guess you could say, so that'll be fun. Um, we've been really into like cheese fries uh, for some reason, so I actually got two things. These were only $1.60 a piece, so we got the crinkle cut because we feel like the cheese melts on it, so awesome junk food, right? A thing of cream cheese, a little thing of guacamole, a little thing of fresh pico, and that's yummy. I could have just made it, but you know. This is my fave. I love the black bean hummus. I didn't know they sold this actually at this store, so we'll see how it is here. I haven't seen it in a really long time, though. Another thing of waffles just for an easy breakfast thing. Needed some heavy whipping cream for this soup that I make. Just grabbed these to have. Needed a little bit of butter. And these are the hot dogs I was telling you guys about. Uh, the other thing that I really liked at this store that I got before was I really liked these rolls. They're like a hoagie roll. And so I really liked those. They were really good. And I actually got this to go on them. It's like a pulled chicken that you just heat up. So I really wanted some easy meals. And this was only $2.99. I actually think I should have gotten another one. Got some uh, pork carnitas. So we can have this on like a Taco Tuesday. That'll be really good. Ham and cheese, obviously, just for lunches. My husband loves the dill pickle slices so he went down and picked those for himself this is the kind of milk i get um i really like it because it stays fresher longer so i don't have to like continually buy milk and it's really good on our bellies uh this is actually fig jam and i got this to go with some brussels sprouts i saw a recipe where you do this Brussels sprouts and bacon and everybody says it's amazing so I wanted to try it uh, this is just for me I love black cherry is like my favorite of everything in general so I got four of those I just got a couple of bananas because I have a bunch that I'm gonna make into banana bread because they've been going bad so I just got a couple because um, we haven't been eating them that much we kind of go in spurts I guess you could say a zucchini, it was so big. And then two cucumbers, tomatoes, uh, needed some corn tortillas, got a little thing of avocados. This is so hard because like, I don't know, I feel like avocados, they like ripen up super quick and then you have to use them. 
So hopefully the last ones I got I did not get in time and they actually went bad and it made me so mad. So this, these ones I thought if I got smaller ones maybe I would think to look at them I guess. Uh, went ahead and got some green onions, super cheap, and some grapes. We had a lot of fresh fruit, like I have strawberries and berries and um, apples and oranges and all that stuff. So I didn't really need a bunch of fruit, but I did get grapes. And then I got just a big thing of spring mix. Two random crazy chips, but at least they were cheap. So some cheddar and sour cream, some cheese puffs, because my kid actually wanted some Cheetos. That was the only thing he asked for. Sour cream and onion and some barbecue chips. So it's always nice to have little, little things like that. And then this big old watermelon guy. So I gotta cut this up. I'm definitely not the best at cutting watermelon, but I think I'm gonna cut it and like melon ball it. So, um, yeah. Okay, so this is how our cookout turned out. So I have some watermelon and some strawberries in these little bowls. Um, just because I had them and then it doesn't get all over your plate. We grilled some asparagus, made some cheese fries, and made hamburgers and hot dogs. So that's what it looks like. This is my, this is my son's plate. And as you can see, I just melon balled the melon. And I just put some butter on these buns and broiled them. These are our cheese fries. He grilled asparagus on the grill. My husband is over here making his plate. And he grilled some hot dogs too. It should be yummy. I hope this gave you guys some much needed meal ideas and um, just some quick and easy ideas. And let me know in the comments below, what do you guys grill out? for like Memorial Day, 4th of July. Do you have like a specific thing? Do you usually do like hamburgers and hot dogs? Like what's your thing? So I would love to hear like what everybody's traditions are. So I will see you guys in my next brand new video. Bye for now.